This is the third and possibly the last video I will be doing on Fleur Medium or Medium Fleur, at least until unless somebody has something really interesting because I've gone through almost all her videos on her YouTube channel and nobody sent me anything. So let's just take care of this. I, I believe that it's a great idea when you're really analyzing um a, a medium to try if you can to to look at a series of videos that are all or a series of readings that are all done at the exact same time you know in the same event the same sitting so what we're going to look at now i haven't watched this so i'm not sure what we're going to see but i've already done two other videos and i have on medium fleur and this is on the medium fleur youtube playlist that i have so check it out this is the longest of the videos it is six minutes 50 seconds and it is six years old that's when it was uploaded it's in burbank i assume that's burbank california it looks like she's addressing a auditorium with maybe 200 people or so in the in the auditorium you can tell from looking at the video there's a lot of places where there's missing seats i mean not missing seats <laughs> people are missing there's like large groups not there so it's not sold out or anything like that i don't know what happened to medium fleur she doesn't seem to be around at least she has not been uh, posting on her youtube channel anymore possibly she's doing readings uh, maybe she's doing interviews maybe she's on tiktok i don't know i didn't look i'm just checking out her videos so this is new to me i have not watched this video but i have like i said watched the other two videos the only um three videos that she has from this event are on her youtube channel and i've already reviewed the other two so check those out um, always keep in mind that this is her youtube channel so she's not likely to put anything up on her youtube channel that isn't going to reflect well on her and that's really interesting to me because the video i just analyzed was just nothing um the one the other video i i analyzed was it sounded specific at the beginning and then it got to a point where it didn't seem like it would have been all that specific once you really look at it the beginning of the video where it begins and where it ends and if there's any cuts made in this video it's because she made them so it's always done intentionally so if she removes part of the beginning and it starts in an awkward place that might be because something is she didn't really want you to see at the beginning same with the end or the middle but um i don't know she she hasn't been really known for being somebody who really highly edits her videos my cat's gonna sleep on my oh back in her basket so let's look at this together this is brand new to me so let's let's see what we see I'll, i may stop it once or twice take notes it's okay to take notes if you're going to analyze the video and you saw the video in fact i highly encourage it but i would never tell somebody who goes to a psychic medium to just take notes because you can't concentrate on what the medium saying and you can't get the notes written down fast enough to be exact because what you need is the exact notes because there's always a lot of wordplay this is usually cold reading so cold reading can be all over the place so let's check it out tell me what you think I feel very fatherly to you, like he would have raised you and been a part of your life in that way. Yes. You see? Okay, yes. your mom's still in the world? Yes. Good. Um, and you see here, you very much got to say your goodbyes with this man. Yes. See this? And I also feel here that at the time of his passing, when he takes his last breath, you would have been right there, you see? And I want to yes. say as well that there's a feeling of holding my hand, being very close to me at that time. You see that? Um, I want to recognize and I want to go back to some of the information I've shared uh, that this was a bigger man in his lifetime, but there's a feeling of towards the end he actually dropped a great deal of weight. You yes. understand? So there's a feeling of him only being kind of a skeletal version of who he once was. You understand yes. that? Because I feel this man dropped 
dropped pounds and pounds and pounds. And he's saying he's never been that thin in his entire life. You see, he was never a thin man, but towards the end, he finally got it down. That's the feeling yes. I get. <laughs> and he was very, he had a lot of humor. You see this, a lot of humor, because he's very self-deprecating about this. Yes. That feels to be very strong there as well. Um, I want to recognize that he speaks uh, too of um, a connection uh, very much to his mother, um, but his mother must also be in the spirit. Do you see? Okay. Obviously, something is missing here because the way she goes from, um, I mean, we're, we're at the very beginning. First off, she says, you know, something about a dad. It's obviously about a dad. So she's already selected this woman out of the audience. The woman has already raised her hand and and said that is the person you're talking about on stage is my father and so there may have been some tussling i mean not physical tussling but between other people in the audience who thought it might have been their dad and the other person might have thought it was their dad i mean there's 200 people or so here so law of large numbers it will probably be um, whatever fleur says on the stage is probably going to be some um affect other people i mean it's going to be very similar to other people so somewhere in there there was a lot more content in there and it got to this woman who was given a microphone i mean they're not just underneath the seat or something somebody had to walk over and give her that microphone so there's something there mom's still alive and she says yes and she says good <laughs> i think she means good that she got it right the person who's being read is in her 30s probably so how likely is it that her mother is still alive very 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 likely right her grandparents may still be alive that's also possible and and likely so the only reason she fleur went to this woman about a dead father is because fleur already knew because the woman fleur gave out some sort of scenario that is cut out of this video and the sitter um, eventually it was agreed to that this is the sitter that it applied to so when Fleur goes up to her and says um, your mom is still alive because she doesn't know I mean come on you should know that um, and then she's going on about his weight and the mother is, is starting to, I mean the sitter is getting very emotional and, it, and I'm thinking in my mind I haven't listened to this yet I'm thinking something like cancer or something happened to her father because, um, you know, as she is talking about how he's losing a lot of weight and, and, and I'm just, that's what I'm picturing in my head. And it's not funny, not funny at all. And, and Fleur says, oh, he was self-deprecating and that he thought it was, he, he, you know, he treated it like it was funny or something that now he's finally losing all that weight. I, I don't think it's funny. The audience giggles a little bit, but it's more of a nervous kind of thing. And maybe the sitter kind of laughs a little bit. Remember, she's motivated. She's here at this event. She wants to hear from her father. And it isn't funny. It is not funny. I don't care what Fleur thinks, but she's going for a laugh. And no. So now we're going to go to grandma, I guess. Now I'm going to back it up a second because I'm not sure if grandma's alive or not, but <clears throat> remember she has two grandmas so i don't know what are the odds that her grandma's still alive probably pretty good 80 percent that both are alive let's see if if um how that goes let's i don't remember what happened right here i was about to end it so let me back up a little bit connection uh very much to his mother um but his mother must also be in the spirit do you see that no. she's here hold on one second he talks about a very strong connection Ooh. to his mother that i need to speak of um mm -hmm. do you see here then that this lady would have trouble walking on her own at the moment yes. um or she would not be able to stand up in that way yes see? okay and then that's who he's recognizing because he brings me the image of his mother who would have had who would now have great hip problems mm -hmm. uh, great leg problems 
problems, you see, yeah. it must need replacements of joints. Yeah. You understand yes. this? And yeah. I feel that he is recognizing that he has actually been there through her journey with that on the spirit side. So I feel when he was here in the physical world, she hadn't had those surgeries yet yes. or hadn't done that yet. But I know that from the other side, he has seen it. Okay, he has seen it. I know as well that she must have had a surgery that didn't go as planned or, or went kind of wrong. Do you see that? It yes. feels like either the joint didn't take or like something didn't take. Yes. You understand? Yes. And he's wanting to recognize as well that this is going to get better. He wants her to keep the faith because I feel she's become very depressed about this. You understand that? Okay. So he's recognizing to her, I am around, mom, I'm going to take care of you. Okay, and that feels very, yes. very important. Um, I know here with this man that he likes to eat. He likes to eat a lot in life, and his good food is important to him. Um, and yes. it feels like <laughs> and it feels like there's such intestinal problems towards the end of his life. Yes. There's a real feeling of having to eat almost baby food or having to be given IVs, you mm -hmm. see. Yes. And would you understand the baby food as well? Because I yes. want to recognize also people feeding him for him. Yes. You understand? And I know he says, I'm back to my health. I'm back to being good. Um, don't worry about me. I've got my weight back on uh, but I know that's <laughs> very important he's kind of proud of it he's like I earned these pounds um, but I know that he is recognizing of being once again good 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 uh, I want to recognize too oh okay huh interesting hmm. okay while Fleur is sitting there trying to figure out where she's going to go to next for her next lap um, let's pause and talk about what we've heard. Okay, so um, his mother is, he, uh, the, the, she's found um, the sitter's father. So now his mother and Fleur said she must be over in spirit. And the sitter's like, new and looks at the person next to her. Now we can't see the person next to her, but I assume it's not the mother. Um, and She's saying, does she have problems walking? Does she have lip, leg and hip problems? Well, yeah, it's kind of common, you know. She had surgery. And it went wrong or it wasn't quite what we expected or, or, or something. And Fleur says, well, it'll get better. Just a bunch of... He's taking care of his mother. I can't stand it when they do that. He's watching over her. He's taking care of her. Yeah, it's meant to be comforting at the moment. But it's not because the mother is not being taken care of by that, by her um, son. No. So, I mean, if something bad were to happen to the mother, like she gets hit by a car or she's robbed or um, she falls down a bunch of stairs, then why wasn't her son taking care of her? I mean, it's just, no, this guardian angel crap is just nonsense. And the, and I, the sooner we get rid of that, the better. And so Fleur has already mentioned about her, uh, the father having lost a lot of weight and that he used to be larger or chubby, I think she said. And that got a laugh and I got a response out of the sitter. So Fleur's on sure footing, knowing that, that talking about food and talking about weight gain or weight loss is okay to talk with this woman about. So now Fleur is going to um, talk about food and good food and quality of food. And, and um, he's put on a lot of weight and again, with the humor of, of this father's weight. And um, I, I want you to picture this. These are people supposedly in, in heaven or, or whatever it is that Fleur has imagined. And food is what they're talking about. Not the fact that they are able to meet other family members not uh they're reunited with their pets and other people that they've known in their lives and or solved great mysteries or met amazing people in the world personally if i was able to do that i would be um i'd be talking to a lot of people <laughs> that i didn't know agatha christie i bet you she has written some good mysteries since i would love to hear another agatha christie that nobody else has heard there's all kinds of people that you would want to talk to. And are they, I mean, can't Fleur explain how this works? Do you get to float around and you just kind of run into people? Or do they like have discussions? Is there, can you just like materialize to one part of heaven and meet up with somebody who was 
that you never knew? Like, can you go hang out with Einstein and Shakespeare? I mean, is is that all okay? What about this religious uh, connotations? I mean, do you really get to sit next to Jesus Christ? I mean, why don't anybody ever talk about that? Uh, I mean, when I was a Christian, that was the big thing. You get to sit at the right hand of Jesus Christ and listen to him talk and, and whatever. Is is there any truth to that? And what is this with the physical form? Why why are the people in, in heaven so, I mean, so interested in this form? So if, is he a physical thing in this heaven that he's in? Eating things that makes puts a weight on? Is he supposed to be the age he was when he left, but just healthier? Why not a 20-year-old man? Or why not a uh, you know, a 10 year old child or an infant. Why is he presenting himself to Fleur and apparently to wherever he's supposed to be at as a man who's put weight on eating? So if he's able to eat well over on this other side, that means he's putting weight on because. Or is it just that he wants to look that way? I mean, so he's wearing clothes, I guess. I mean, the whole thing is silly. Okay. Um, the laughter stuff, it bugs the crap out of me. She's talking to a man who's supposedly dead. The The sitter is grieving. She's upset. This this whole thing with the, um, he was eating uh, baby food he was on ivs the woman is starting to cry i absolutely know exactly what she's going through right there it is not um it's a memory that i want to have of my loved ones of their last moments on earth and how horrible their death was nobody needs to revisit that this guy apparently lived a long life and had loves and desires and and people interesting things that happened to him in life and mysteries and 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 hobbies and all kinds of things do you really think that this is what he wants to be talking about is the food he was eating before he died and how he was on ivs and and eating baby food this is me off let's go back Okay. Um, in his lifetime, I know at one point he must have been married. You see this? Yes. But do you see that there were actually two women he loved? Yes. Okay. Um, and that's not a that's not a surprise to the family, right? Okay. Good. No. Um, <laughs> it's like sometimes I'm like, oh, don't make me. Um, but uh, <laughs> but I know there must have been two women he cared for deeply. Two he married, or two he was in relationships with. You see, yes. and I know that um, there's love for both, but I know that the split, uh, the split from one was quite traumatic or horrible. You see, yes, and I feel like family really took their sides. You see that, um, and I want to recognize as well that he has forgiven. All right, and uh, has gotten over it is what he wants to recognize there too. But I feel like he's such a good humored man in life, you wouldn't even know it had ever bothered him. You see that. Mm -hmm. And so I know he recognizes for you as well. Um, one of the ladies that you're with, because you are with multiple people, you see? Yes. Um, do you see that one of you has also lost a child to the spirit world? Um, um, do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Um, because I know he brings forward a child there, all right? Um, and I know that he just wants to recognize yeah. that this child is also with him, okay? Also okay. with him. Um, now, you have another child, too, you see in the world. This is not your only child on the other side, but he wants to recognize very much so that he's got this baby for you, okay? Got this baby for you, um, takes care of it, and uh, will make sure that it's in good hands that until you yourself are also on the other side, which will take a long time, so don't worry, okay? <laughs> um, and it feels to me very much so that he, uh, one of his, his reasons for coming in tonight is to let you know that, that that um, they're not on their own, okay? They're not on their own. Um, now, do you see here that there's also a little boy in the world? Do you see? That would be your son, you see? Because um, I know that they recognize of being around your son. 
Uh, and um, it feels to me here too that you just need to know that you are a terrific mother. I don't know why, but I don't know if you've been wondering that recently or been very scared that you're not doing a good job. Um, but I want to recognize for you that you're actually a tremendously amazing mother, okay? Um, and I want to say here too, um, just uh, uh, before I go, uh, you feel like you didn't get time with your child that's passed. You see that there was no time, like a baby, that's the feeling. No time. All the same, this child is your child, all right? So never question that. Still your baby, because you feel it in your heart, you see? And I know in that same way, um, they come around you and they're very connected to you, all right? So thank you guys so much. I know that they're together, and uh, I know they, they send you all their love. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Amazing, yeah, yeah, definitely. amazing. It's speechless. Yes, it definitely is. Yeah, this is our first time doing this, and we're I, kind of skeptic when we first came in here. And and in my mind, I asked for signs that I knew would connect directly to him, and everything she brought up was exactly what I asked for him point. to answer. Yes, he was like she was on point with everything, delivering the message, everything. It was amazing. I mean, she made me cry, which is something I don't do often. The closure that I have walking out of here is amazing. It's priceless. It's priceless, 100%. Priceless. And I think that if anybody ever has any questions, this is definitely something they have to do. Yeah. They definitely do. If they have somebody who's crossed over, this is something that they have to do. Definitely. when they interview people right after of course you're on an emotional high you think you've just been in contact with your father and your baby so a week from now or whenever this is recorded a month from then they may think totally differently about it but at that moment they feel this emotional um high and it is probably exhilarating does not mean it stays that way, but that's where they are right now. Your father must have loved two women. Probably had tens of dozens of women he's loved over his life, but apparently there's only two. Their names are, nope, no names, just two women. And one of the splits is really bad. Come on now, this is an adult man. It's very, very, very likely that he has multiple women in his life that he has loved. Um, one was, uh, there was a bad, bad split. They had, he's forgiven, I guess the family took their sides. He's forgiven the women. He's forgiven the family. No names, just generic crap. All right, so then here, this is, God, this makes me mad. One of the other women you're with, and there's what, four people there, or at least three other women that is with the sitter. Um, one of the other women has lost a child. Very common for a psychic to say it fits all the time. Now, what does that mean? Lost a child. Miscarriage? Stillbirth? child actually dies a, a child that's an infant a child that is a toddler no names not even gender so it's likely and if it hadn't hit if the psychic if Fleur had said one of the women you're with had lost a child and all of the women in there said nope 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 not me not me not me not me then Fleur would just backtrack and say, oh, I'm getting the, one of the women with you is a child and, and their parent or their grandparent wants to talk about that or their parent wants to talk about a child that was lost or Fleur just skips it and moves on. Remember, this video is up on her channel because she thinks it reflects well on her. It does not mean that that was a hit because that was not a hit. Fleur did not go to the woman and say, you, that woman right there, you, 
your baby died of Down syndrome, not Down syndrome, um, SIDS. When she was three months old, her name was Elizabeth Marie. And um, she, you thought she was sleeping okay, but she was having problems. Nothing specific like that. Nothing. That was so vague to be, um, probably would have hit a lot of people. Oh, in fact, Fleur, if she was Matt Frazier or somebody else, he would have just said, oh, not you. It's the person behind you, right? Remember, Fleur can see these people better and she can see if they're nodding or if they're tearing up. You saw immediately that that woman went, you know, her face was just, um, she's covering her face. She knew exactly what was going on. Whenever Fleur said, one of the other women with you, and we can't see what was going on because the camera wasn't there yet, but she had an immense reaction. And all Fleur has to do is follow the signs. Keep in mind, Fleur has done thousands, maybe tens of thousands of readings. This is fast. It's glib. It comes out very smooth, just like somebody singing a song that they've they've sung many, many times. All of this feels very, very, um, what's the word for it? Where they feel like they're fresh. It's fresh and, and must be coming to the spirit world. Oh, Fleur's been down this road uh, probably hundreds of times. And just it's just a it's just a thing they say. Child is with this guy. Now we don't even know if those two are related. They're together at the venue, but we don't know if they're related. So her baby is with this other guy. Now what if they don't like their co-workers or something? They don't know each other that well. It's just something they say. The rest of the audience isn't in on it. And the sitter who is very motivated that this go well is going to agree to whatever because she's in contact with her baby. And so she's going to just agree. She's just going to nod and agree. And then she says something about, well, you have other children and the woman, you can tell the woman is nodding and so on. And so she says that, um, there's a boy and you can see again, the woman reacts and then she's, she's nodding. And, um, what is this nonsense with you have been questioning if you're a good mother or not? You're an amazing mother. You're not just a terrific mother. You're a terrific, amazing mother. So you wonder why at the very end that they don't, they say, oh yeah, it was so accurate. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah. Well, he said that you're an amazing, well, Fleur said, you're an amazing mother. And this thing about you didn't have enough time with your baby or your child. And she's nodding and crying. Well, yeah, she didn't have enough time with it. And, and Fleur says it like a question. And, and, the, and I'm hearing that you didn't have enough time with the baby, that you didn't get to have enough time with your child. Like, that's an odd question. It's like an odd thing. She said, of course you didn't have enough time with your child. Your child could have been 110 years old and you didn't have enough time with your child. This doesn't make any sense. Anyway, so this is the third of third of three. Um, there is another Fleur video that is on the Fleur playlist if you want to, um, if you're interested in her, the four videos now that I've done on Fleur medium fleur um cold reading cold reading cold reading and cold reading she is manipulative she has she's trying to use humor um they are generic tropes mostly which she's using and um not very good not not really good she's no when you get down to it and you're really looking at it and, and thinking about what it is that's said and you remove the emotion, like I'm able to remove the emotion. I'm not being the person sitting there getting the reading. When you're able to step back and look at it from um, like, like I am, 
You can really see it clearly what's going on and that this is just a show. Um, it's just manipulation. I did want to read to you what the comments were under this video because there are some comments, uh, 19 comments. I'm not going to read them all. Let's see if I can sum them up. This is this video has 9,700 views. It was uploaded six years ago. Medium Fleur's YouTube channel has 1.64 thousand subscribers. So 1,600, 400, 1,640 subscribers, which is piddly squat. I mean, she's supposed to be communicating with the dead and you got a thousand viewers that are subscribed. 9,000 people watch this amazing reading. No. Okay. So somebody named Care said, no one can be 100% accurate 100% of the time. This woman is amazingly accurate and the real deal. For those who have experienced mediums, understand her talent. Anyone who doesn't understand mediumship doesn't need to be here. Well... She's amazingly accurate. Well, I don't know what she's been watching. Maybe she's watching videos that I'm not watching. For those who have experienced mediumship, understand her talent. Anyone who doesn't understand mediumship doesn't need to be here. I think I understand mediumship a lot more than you do, Care. Um, and um, I'm here because I want to understand more. So I'm wondering if this commenter is somebody who's open to like thinking about uh, mediumship as a uh, a trade, a skill, a practice, a trick. I doubt that. Okay, this one from Mike says, I'm rarely convinced by these paranormal claims, but this is the most convincing medium I've ever seen. Wow. Oh, look, here's something from a friend of mine. This is from Janice Boynton. She says, uh, three months ago, probably back whenever we did the video on Fleur, the first video I did on Fleur. So Jana says, a great example of cold reading. She's a good performer, personable, talks fast, makes generalizations, quickly covers over the misses. It isn't proof of anything that someone in the audience responded to losing a child. There's a high probability that people who come to readings like this have lost a child and will most likely consider them their baby regardless of the age of the child when they died she called the baby it Ooh, good point janice and didn't reveal any specific information like a name a gender or how they died also it's common for a person who's ill to lose a lot of weight especially at the end of the life she just guessing and someone got someone to respond to the guesses well said janice and i missed that part where she she called the baby an it she she didn't give, a, I, I mentioned that she didn't give, say, boy or girl or a name, but you're right. She was very careful to use it. Um, somebody else says, I can't wait to get a private reading. Greg Smith says, I am stunned. Well, I am too. Another one says, extraordinary cods wallop. Oh, and then they post again, they post again later. It says total rubbish. She is just generalizing. And somebody else responds to that. Well, no, she's very specific. So I guess extraordinary cods wallop is rubbish, rubbish, <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> and then somebody named Eric von Mulder says cold reading folks. It's, it is a great and persuasive technique, especially if you're good at your craft. Watch Banachek. Yeah, watch Banachek. He debunks these characters. I know you all want to believe. Me too. But that is a power that these so-called mediums have in your emotions. And they should be called out. No one should play with your emotions. And then somebody else named Ra says, I watched a medium one time pretend to connect with a woman's child who was under five when he died. It was disgusting to watch. Not all are demonic. Most are fake as you knew what's there somebody else named rodriguez says how can you be calling this a cold reading and then you say i want to believe not everyone is an effing cold reader 
So for somebody who's in communication with the dead, which would mean they would be the most powerful person in the world. She doesn't seem to be going over very well. And not a lot of people are seeking her out. And as I said, and I'm waiting for somebody to put something in the comments. I don't know what's happened to Fleur. Nothing has been on the YouTube channel updated in at least five years. And for somebody who's doing readings for two or 300 people, and, with, and she's read celebrities, which... I don't know, they're just as credulous as anybody I've ever met. Um, not much. So I'm, unless somebody's got something really, really interesting on medium Fleur, I'm kind of done with her. She's, uh, this is my fourth video. Everything has been unimpressive. Um, it's cold reading, which is what most psychics use. And no, I'm really not. <sighs> anyway please like please share please leave me comments i'm very interested in what you think i didn't watch this video before i started it so you and i were watching it together so that if i miss something please let me know i'm happy to um to uh um correct it or you know acknowledge it and look at I just read the comments of these other people. I like seeing these comments. I think they're very interesting. As I say, this whole community we we're starting to develop here on Psychics Explained helps helps me understand as well. So take care all.